Happy December, everybody. Do not be affected by the holidays. What's up everybody, Mark Cassara here. Today I wanna to talk to you about staying in alignment with your goals, dreams, and visions for the month of December. We know this month to be the holiday month. Christmas is right around the corner. Everybody's getting ready to celebrate with their family and bring in the new year, and there's gonna be a lot of distractions coming your way. So I'm gonna give you three or four tips on how to stay super motivated and super aligned with your goals, your visions, and your desired outcome. Number one, set clear, defined goals for your month. You wanna go ahead and get a spreadsheet out, get a yellow notepad out, and you wanna start writing down your goals. What are your goals from biggest to smallest? And it doesn't matter how many goals there are, you just kinda of wanna brain dump. You wanna just get it all out of your head onto a piece of paper. And it's important to write your goals down or put them on a computer so you can visually see them on a regular basis. Then you wanna take a moment to reorganize and restructure that brain dump that you just put down on a paper or on the computer, and you wanna prioritize them from most important to least important. Oftentimes a good strategy is to focus on the highest priority goals in the beginning, even if they're big ones, to knock those out and then go ahead and complete each and every one after that as much as you can until you get through your entire list. Now you can go wide for an entire month and then you can set them into weekly goals and then you can set them into daily goals. You can even break down your timeline into hourly goals if it's a good fit for you. Now here's a pro tip. It's good to have an accountability partner to keep you on track with hitting your goals. Oftentimes we know that as entrepreneurs and business owners and people that work independently, we are our own worst boss. We don't hold ourselves to high standards sometimes. Sometimes we get casual, sometimes we get lazy, sometimes we'll just keep putting it off until the next day, and sometimes that will be the cause of our failure. So sometimes it's good to have an accountability partner, whether it's your spouse, if you're in business with her, or a trusted friend or an advisor or a mentor or a coach, and you can say, here's my goals for the month, Here's my goals for the week. Here's my goals for the day. Please keep me accountable. Check up on me. Make sure I'm you know, on, on point with doing what I need to do. Number two, create a structured schedule. Now for these A-type personalities, hello, that's very hard to do. It's hard to have structure when you're just a go, go, go. Let's just get it done. Don't worry about the details. We'll figure it out later. Plan your day in advance the night before. Spend an hour before you go to bed at night and plan your schedule out. Glance at your calendar. See what meetings you have. Now this is where we get into time blocking. Time blocking is when you go hour by hour in your calendar or in your day and you go ahead and plan out your entire day. Like I'm talking, you're gonna put an hour in for lunch. You're gonna put an hour in for exercise. You're gonna put an hour in for family time. You're gonna put an hour in for client phone calls. You're gonna put an hour in for social media management. You're gonna put an hour in for recording content. You're literally gonna plan your entire day and that's what we call time blocking. I live or die by my calendar. If it's not in my calendar, I don't do it. And if it's not in my calendar, I probably forget about it too. So over the last few years, time blocking has been a game changer for us. You're gonna to wanna to schedule in family time. You're gonna to wanna to schedule in holiday activities. You're gonna to wanna to schedule in breaks. You're gonna to wanna to schedule in nap times if that's what you do. By all means, schedule it in, schedule it in. Drop down in the comments, schedule it in. Use productivity techniques like the Pomodoro technique. That's where you schedule 25 minutes of hard focused flow time and then you get up and take a break and you do it little increments at a time. Sometimes we can't sit there for three, four hours. Experts say that it's usually not a good idea to stay for long, drawn out periods of time because you end up burning yourself out. You end up losing focus a lot easier. So take it in strides. Go 25 to 30 minutes at a time. Get up, walk away, take a brain break. Get back, do another 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Get up, take a brain break. Get up, work for 25 minutes, go out and take a walk. It's okay to do that. You'll feel more energized, you'll feel more focused, and you'll feel more in charge of what you have to do. We'll get into some other types of techniques later on in some other videos, but that's a good one to start with. And number three, minimize distractions. Identify and minimize potential distractions in your work environment. Now, whether that's at an office, whether you're working for someone else or whether you're working home in your home office, it's important to minimize distractions. 
One of the biggest distractions to us right now is social media. Now, some of us have to be on social media because that's how we build and grow our business. Other times, we don't have to be on social media, and sometimes we'll get notifications all day long. So it might be a good idea to set on your iPhone the different focus times you can do at work, at home, sleeping. You can set up different types of focus times where you don't get any notifications. And that could be for a certain period of the day. It could be throughout the whole entire day. I tend to keep my phone on silent so I don't hear the notifications. Set specific times to check your email and to check social media. One of the worst things you could do is wake up first thing in the morning and check your phone. That is the worst thing you could do. Over the last couple of years, I've grown a very healthy habit of not looking at my phone for the first hour of the day. I'll read a book, I'll do a prayer, I'll meditate, I'll get breakfast, I'll have coffee, but I won't look at my phone. And it's been really good for my mental health personally. So it might be a good idea for you too to implement, especially during the season of distraction. And communicate your focus time to friends and families. Let them know. We call that grind time. And here's two pro tips. Delegate and collaborate. Sometimes it's good to outsource what you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of time on. It could be the menial tasks. It could be the little things. One of my mentors used to tell me, do what you do best and outsource the rest. And the last bonus tip, which... I'm a little partial to this, I think is the most important out of all of the ones that we covered in this video is practice self-care. Repeat after me, practice self-care. Take care of your physical, your mental, and your spiritual well-being. We live in this grind, hustle, sleep, repeat type of mentality. And sometimes this grind, hustle attitude is detrimental to our health. Six to eight hours of sleep is recommended by experts. Make sure you go to bed at a decent time. Don't stay up till four o'clock in the morning and make sure you wake up at a decent time. Now your sleep patterns are totally up to you and they're in your hands, but practice self-care, which means getting a decent amount of sleep, making sure you're doing enough exercise, even if it's just going around and walking around the block, just getting your heart moving, getting your blood pumping. And believe it or not, a little bit of relaxation is actually okay too. Whether it's after hours or whether it's before you start your day, learn to cut out and chisel some time just for you. Remember what I said in the beginning of this video, sometimes you don't look at your phone for the first hour of the day. Use that time to read, to relax, to meditate, to pray, to do a devotional, something that's going to slow your heart rate down so that you can have a little bit of time for self-care. Remember guys, it's important to find balance even during this hustle bustle holiday grind. So practice all the things that we covered in this video. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was from this video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't matter, but do something. Share this video with your social media network. Make sure you subscribe, do all those YouTube things, and we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you live well, laugh louder, and learn to be a better you. God bless guys.